YouTube, today I am bringing you guys the best jump shots for every build in 2K24. So I'm going to be giving you guys the best jump shots that I use on my 6 foot 6 builds that you can use on any build from 6 foot 6 to 6 foot 10. Then I will also be giving you guys the best jump shot for builds that are 6, 4, and under, and also those large center builds as well. Those lock builds, whatever build you guys have, I will give you a jump shot that you can use for those builds. Now, to be honest with you guys, I have been using the same jump shot all year, and the reason for that is because my jump shots have been so good there has been no reason for me to change it. But recently, there has been at least two new jump shots that I have tried, and they are absolutely insane. The way you just shoot over the defender, it is impossible for you to get contested, and they're super fast. Now, the first jump shot I will be giving you guys, you can use on any build from 6 foot 5 to 6 foot 10, and you need at least an 88 midi or 3 pointer. So if you hit starter three, you get Tracy McGrady base, which is the best base for builds of this height. Now that means since I'm starter three, I unlock the T-Mac base. So I'm going to use T-Mac base, Oscar Robertson release one, and Tari Eason release two. And then you want the blend to be 50-50 on the fastest release speed. Now you get an A plus release speed, an A release height, a B defensive immunity, and B timing stability, which is all very, very good. And you'll be able to shoot over everyone and shoot very fast. Now, of course, if you don't have that unlocked, if you're not starter three, you can use my regular jump shot that I have always used this entire year, which is Gordon Hayward base instead with Oscar Robertson and Tari Eason releases. And then I have Oscar Robertson 82%, Tari Eason on 18%. And you need at least an 87 midi or three pointer for this as well. So for the T-Mac jump shot, if you only have an 85 three pointer, you can tweak the releases to 9% Oscar, 91% Tari Eason. And then you can still use the jump shot. If you have an 86, you can do 2278. And then if you have an 87, you can go 37 Oscar and 63 Tari. Then the same thing goes for the Gordon Hayward release. If you don't have a high enough three pointer, you can tweak it to these percentages 56%, 44% for an 85 mid year three pointer, 42% Oscar, 58% Tari for an 84 mid year three pointer. And then you guys can keep tweaking it to the thresholds if you don't meet the rating. Next, let me show you guys the best jump shot for builds that are 6 foot 4 and under. Right now I'm on my little 6 3 guard build and let me tell you this jump shot is broken. Now this right here is also only exclusive to players that are starter 3. Now if you guys aren't starter 3, don't worry I have another jump shot for you guys that I also use but as you can see this jump shot the release height is insane when it looks like i'm supposed to be contested i'm just not look how high i get off the ground look how high my hands are in the sky they cannot contest me this jump shot is insane and it is also the fastest jump shot in the game you will not find a faster jump shot now, if you are six foot four and under and have over an 87 midi or three pointer, you can get the Patty Mills base with Oscar Robertson release. It doesn't matter what the percents are because you're using straight Oscar Robertson for the release and Patty Mills based on the fastest speed. As you can see, you get an A plus release height, A plus release speed, and the A minus defensive immunity, and this jump shot is just insane. Do you see how high your release is? Then of course, if you're not starter three, you can't get the Patty Mills base. So my other jump shot I used to use and still use on my six, four, and under builds is Steph Curry base, Oscar Robertson release, and Steph Curry release. And then 65% Oscar Robertson, 35% Steph Curry. And you do need a 92 midi or three-pointer to use this jump shot. 
Now the Patty Mills jump shot is better, but like I said, if you can't get it, then use this shot instead. Now the next jump shot I will be giving you guys is the jump shot I use on my 6-8 popper build. Hang it up, horsey. Now you can use this shot on popper builds, on lockdown builds, anything like that. Or even those low three point ISO builds, whatever you guys want, as long as you are six foot five to six foot ten and have over a 78 three pointer. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm going pretty crazy right now. You can shoot fadeaway middies, fadeaway three pointers, you can still shoot over people's heads. I'm telling you guys, this jump shot is teed. But yeah, personally, I recommend this jump shot for any popper build or any lockdown build. I don't think there is any other jump shot you need to go with now. You want to go with base Dyson Daniels, release Sadiq Bay, and release Larry Bird on the fastest speed. 76% Sadiq Bay, 24% Larry Bird. And then you should have an A release speed, A release height. And then the defensive immunity and timing stability aren't that crazy, but you're not going to get all A pluses when you only have a 78 three pointer. So for those lockdown builds and those shooting center builds, you want to go with this jump shot. Now, for some reason, if you only have around a 73 or lower three-pointer or midi, you can go with this jumper here. So you'll use Timote Luowu Kabarot as your base, and then upper release one Kyle Korver, and release two Oscar Robertson. 27% Korver, 73% Oscar on the fastest speed, and you can get an A release speed. B plus release height and you can also manage to get an A defensive immunity which is huge. So yeah if you can't get that last jump shot I just showed you guys make sure to go with this one. Now for my tall 6, 10 and up centers. If you have over a 70 midi or 3 pointer you can go with this shot right here. Andre Drummond base, Dirk release and Jaron Jackson Jr. release too. With 44% Dirk, 56% Jaron Jackson. Then you get a B minus release height, A minus release speed and an A defensive immunity. Now if you have a 78 midi or 3 pointer you can go with PJ Washington base, Tim Duncan release and Charles Bassey release too. With 65% Timmy D and 35% Charles Bassey. Then you get an A minus release speed and a B plus release height. So I have given you guys the best jump shot for build 6, 4 and under for those 6, 6 builds, for those lockdowns, those shooting center builds, and then those big, large, girthy 6, 10 center builds as well. So now I'm going to give you guys a few shooting tips, and then I'm going to give you the best dribble pull up in the game now let's start with the best dribble pull up me personally i like to use pro 2 i feel like pro 2 is the best fadeaway in the game now you can also use devin booker devin booker was just added in season 5 it is also an extremely good fadeaway but me personally i've used both i like both a lot they're both really good but i like pro 2 a little bit more so you can try both out figure out which you like more but I recommend Pro 2 over Devin Booker, but you cannot go wrong with either one. Now in 2K24, there is four shot timing visual cues. So there is jump, set point, push, and release. So what that determines is when you will release your jump shot. Jump is very early, set point is early, push is late and release is very late personally i've only used push and set point this year but i would recommend that you use push i feel like it's the best timing to get used to and that is what i use right now as well you honestly can't go wrong with any of them but please just do not use jump jump has to have the hardest timing to get used to because it is very early so you quite literally almost just tap your square button and have to green it if you were to use release you'd be able to hold it as long as possible so you'd have the most time to be as accurate as possible. That's why I think push is that good balance between holding it extremely long and releasing it somewhat fast, which is set point. Push is the perfect timing in my opinion. 
Now set point is good as well and release is also good too, but I think push is the best. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you were able to find a juicy, beautiful, lovely jump shot that you can use on 2K24. Now you guys will be greening just like Piggy the Horsey. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, if you found that good jump shot and also subscribe, turn those noties on. We are on the grind to one mil subs. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you in the next banger.